Well, today is exactly what I needed uh, to bounce back from a past couple of rough days. Yesterday, I talked about kind of sleep and having some stress with my daughter being sick, etc. And today, uh, her waking up feeling better, me waking up and just being like, it's Friday, let's get after it, really kind of shaped what I think, or I think it shaped uh, how my morning session went. I woke up wanting to just execute trades and not overthink stuff, wanting to get in, scalp, and participate in the market when I think that the opportunity is there. So let's go ahead and go over those recaps of those trades that I took. I do take those trades um, live on my YouTube stream, which is here on my channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can watch the live streams. They are every day, Monday through Friday at 8.30 a.m. Central Time. So let's go and get into the trades that I took. Happy Friday. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, Friday vibes are alive and well. I don't have a fun shirt Friday on today, but that's because it's cold. I need to find out some like long sleeve fun shirt Fridays, I guess. I did uh, take a trade this morning. You can see it on my screen. When I logged on, we were just sitting at volume 820. Delta looked incredible. The trend was up. And so I got I got long off 820, targeting the volume at 29. I think it went down two points on me. Uh, tagged 29 for 150 bucks uh, to start the day. And it was like a no-brainer sort of trade. I know the markets aren't open, but if I see something like that, I'm obviously going to take it because it's a no-brainer. And we'll see how the market opens, obviously. Uh, opening up outside of value area. We had a little pullback to start, and then we ripped through VWAP and then just kept on going. You know what we say when we get through VWAP with some strength, uh, typically runs. And that's exactly what we're seeing here across the board. Uh, we're going to see what today brings. News-wise, we do have 9 o'clock home sales coming out. Uh, at the top of the hour, we'll probably get some movement. Uh, NAS is ripping to new highs on the day, it looks like, at 41 and buyers still look good so we'll see what the open brings uh see what delta does etc i'm just gonna take stuff as i see it today uh i'm gonna do my best to talk it through but i think that i also just need to like execute um and i think that the past couple days i have not been executing super well so i just need to execute when i see something and take advantage of it part of the reason why i started off uh this morning when i did got these wicks here then maybe we flush yeah magical 80s here I'm going to take the stab long off VWAP. Got two minutes left on this candle. First five minutes of the day. Pretty nice little flush. Uh, it's what, 70 points to the downside? Ish. There's the open. A lot of volume down here at 77 on the ES. Volume on the NAS. Can't even see. Nice push out of it. Try to see if we get a little bit more continuation there. It's having a hard time. I'm going to go ahead and just get out of this and reset. It's not doing really what I wanted to do, which is fine. I think like 50 bucks there. I think we still probably rotate into 95, but it feels like we're just kind of slowing down on everything. And I don't really want to be in that if we're slowing down. So I'll just wait it out. New five minute candle opened up 30 seconds ago. Testing 46 again. I actually like the test on this one. I'm going to take the short here uh, on the five minute structure. You can see why. Just tapping into that level that we've been trading out of. I think closing below and coming back up to retest makes a lot of sense. And then the continued flush out of it also makes sense to me. Testing that volume to 60. If we go back up and make a new high on this candle, I'll be out. It won't make any more sense at that point. This is the spot that I'm okay with it rejecting. And if it goes back up to trade higher, then I think we rotate into 69 to VWAP pretty quickly. I'm out. Buyers are still just hanging out. We're back into the VWAP area, down 130 on the day. Nothing crazy. Uh, to me, that was the area that if we got back up to retrade re it, then I think that we would have uh, boosted out of it. Looks like we're rotating out of it a little bit, but still just not seeing any, any sellers. So on to the next. I like the I like the push into the 80s with Delta holding up here as we're right at 700. I'm going to go and get long here. I like the ES pushing. I like the NAS pushing. Buyers look good. I think we rotate. I want to see this double top get flushed through on the NAS or on the ES, excuse me. I'd like to see a double top get flushed through and potentially go test 68. It almost feels like I should be looking for like five point trades right now. Like a Delta is just non-existent until we get slapped. We've missed the double top run by a couple ticks. I'm not discounting it as being completely out yet because we got a minute left on this candle. I'm going to see how we close, but it's feeling a little bit weaker. Yeah, there we go. There's the last minute push. That's good. That's what we want. Let's go ahead and run that top on the NAS. Pushing. 
missed it by point and a half we ran it on the es by a tick or so i'm gonna go ahead and just kill that trade i'm literally break even on the day minus commission so i'm gonna be like down like 15 bucks uh this little run by about a tick is uh that was my sign to get out i missed my exit by like a point and a half or whatever but this looking like it got slapped after a tick is just like that's just not it so i went ahead and killed that uh i kind of like the bounce up off 76 again we barely we didn't technically didn't make a new low again i'm gonna get long here i like the little buy up looking for a little bit more push es has this block of 59 and a half which we might float through i don't know but i like everything that was that just happened here 700 again looking for potentially 08 again honestly bottom of the little range this is a nice buy up i'm gonna actually hold off on that exit see if we can get a little bit more out of it just gonna go and put my stop into place here see if we can flip green and push into like 35 uh buyers look good i like this action down here that we saw want us to kind of aggressively push through 710 yes did it pretty nicely Kind of looking for the NAS to do the same. I also don't want to be too, too greedy. Let's just have one clean, clean run. Come back down, test point of control. Up at 20, looking for another like 15 points. Fires still look good. This is a spot that makes sense. This is the prior rejection spot. I'm going to go ahead and lock in 700 here as well. Just move my stop up just a few points as I hope and, and anticipating a little bit of a push, but fires look good. We're just hanging out at 20. Oh, come on, do it, NASDAQ. I'm just going to go and kill it. I'm not going to be upset about locking it in. I just got, I mean, that was 25 points and it was like a very clean 25 points, like extremely clean 25 points and it's Friday and I should be happy with that. People always ask like, how do I recover from a losing day? Or in this case, two losing days in a row, right? I think for me, it's just about like getting back on the saddle, getting the mindset of like, okay, like I'm just going to execute what I see. And like today I'm taking more trades than I normally take. Right. I've been taking like two or three trades recently. Now I'm already at five on the day, but it's not about like how much money am I making? It's just about like getting in and taking trades that I think I should be executing on. And if that like leads to a break even day, then it leads to a break even day. But at least I'm executing on what I think I should be executing on. And I'm like, it's building that mental capital back up, if that makes sense. And that, that's honestly it. It's just like, you just have to like move on from the losing day first off, like address that it happened and then move on. Do what you know you need to be doing. You know exactly what you should be doing. So just like freaking execute it. And that is how you overcome a losing day, at least in my opinion. My uh my experience is a better way to say that